After the tribunal judgment yesterday, Obi joins article that rests lawyers to appeal tribunal judgment that affirms Tinumbu presidents. But so many Nigerians have come to believe that Nigerian judicial system is money in the bag justice. They will never believe that Nigeria judiciary will uphold the constitution or maintain their integrity. Because so many Nigerians yesterday saw what really happened in the courtroom. From the beginning, they said that they are not going to err the court proceedings, that they are not going to cover it. But what happens on the day of judgment? They decided to cover it. But that is not the only thing we are going to say in this video. The Labour Party presidential candidate P2B says that the judgment of the presidential election petition court, which offends President Bonatinumbo's election, will be appealed at the Supreme Court. The presidential tribunal sitting in Abuja had dismissed Obi's claim that his votes were suppressed by the Independent National Electoral Commission in favor of Tinumbu. Speaking to newsmen, Obi's lead counsel, Nevi Uzo Chuku, SAN, said he will appeal the judgment. We have affirmed instructions from our client to appeal the decision, he said. He claimed that if Nigerians are not careful, electoral jurisprudence will disappear. History we vindicate the just, he added. I'm saying that our clients are dissatisfied with the judgment just delivered. And uh, we have the firm instruction of our clients to challenge the judgment on appeal. And uh, the court has promised us that possibly by tomorrow, we are going to get a copy of the judgment. Once we have it, we will swing into action. Let me, let me say this, let me say this. We have to be very, very careful in this country. If we are not careful, electoral jurisprudence will virtually disappear. I'm saying this with every amount of sincerity. Because when the litigants, when those who contested the election continue to find it very difficult to establish their case due to obstacles all the way, starting by INEC, certainly they may resort to some other means of trying to seek justice, which may not be lawful. And nobody encourages that. Nobody encourages that. So, and also, I commend the Court of Appeal for introducing live streaming. You will recall that we applied to the court to have live streaming of all the proceedings. The court, in its wisdom, did not grant the application. But now, in the end, they saw wisdom in it to guarantee transparency. Hence, they introduced live streaming of the judgment. Certainly, it would have been better if there was live streaming of the entire proceedings so that the public will now watch it from beginning to the end and connect properly with the judgment. But this one just started from the judgment. So they didn't start from the very beginning. So I do hope and pray that next time it will be continuous from the beginning of the case, beginning of the hearing until, until the end. That is the only way you can ensure transparency. Because when something is open, people will see it themselves and they will make up their minds one way or the other. Thank you very much. Finally, you finally, okay. I, leave, I leave you with one word. History. History. Vindicate the just.